Hey guys, what's up and welcome. Matthew here, the designer and the developer. I'm the hybrid, the best of both worlds, and I'm the greatest of all time. So let's continue with our shared CN. So we are done with the installation and we are going to get into the first component, which is the accordion. The best way to go about shared CN is just to follow exactly what they are telling you here. And then from then we are going to make some minor tweaks in the UI should we feel like there is something that we don't like. As I've just noticed that um, there are some things that I don't like about Shed CN UI. These things are not bad, but it's a personal preference. So what is an accordion? An accordion is a component like this. It's more like a list um, that has got a drop down list. I can say, okay, as you can see, this shows more about this item. And this shows more about this item. As you can see, guys, it has got some nice animation. So we are going to create our own following this uh, step by step. This is how the code looks like. Okay, so let's see what they are advising us to do. I already installed a shared CN. So the first um, stage or the first step is to install specifically the accordion. How do you do that? You just copy this. I'm using npm. I've already a, have a Next.js application running and it has got some sort of a blank page. So let's get back to it. As you can see, this is the Next.js application. Okay. And I've already installed ShedCN and ShedCN has installed this components folder. So as you can see, this folder is empty because we don't have any component. So what we are going to do, we are going to open another terminal. Okay, I'm going to split the screen. So this is another terminal. I'm going to paste the command and click enter. So suppose um, this accordion component will appear here inside here. Okay, while it's busy installing, let's just go back here and see what is the next step from shed CN. Okay, we are done with this one. Okay, um, let's see. <clears throat> my apologies about that okay okay we're done with this uh, installation update the tailwind config um i don't think this is necessary unless we are facing some issues we'll come back and implement this okay um let's check on the usage so how do you use it okay so you first import all of these okay and then from there you paste this and then you are done okay so what we are going to do we are going to create our own components okay meaning that we're not going to paste these in one file okay this is what i mean okay as you can see here we've got ui okay and we've got the accordion cool we're not going to disturb that we're just going to go to our app and then create a folder let's name this folder shared cn okay just shared cn and then we're going to create our own um components okay so what we are going to do here um on shed cn we are going to create our own accordion so the naming i'm just going to type my accordion okay so that we can separate our own accordion from the shed cn accordion so the first thing that we do we import all of these in fact let's just go back here and type rfce Okay, as you can see, this is just a React functional component. If you might want to know how I did that, you can just search for this extension and install it. Okay. So let's go up here and import all of these. Go back to Shed CN and um, let's copy this and paste it right here. We can even remove this. Okay. And paste this right here. Okay. And then click save. So what we are going to do here we are going to come here okay first let's let's run this and see how it looks so on that blank page we can go and import my accordion where is my blank page here so we can uh, just come here and um, import my accordion okay as a self-closing tag save and then go back and see how it looks Okay, as you can see guys this is our accordion <clears throat> my apologies about that obviously for now it fills the entire area and this is not what we want okay um 
let's try to look at shirt cn how this one is okay as you can see this one it's a little bit smaller okay um so let's try to create something like this okay um so we're going to go back here not in this page we're going to go back to our accordion component we're going to minimize this for now and what we will do um let's create a container here okay so that this can be inside a container okay as you can see this is inside a container and we are going to style this container class name let's create a width of let's say a width of uh, 200 pixel and let's see let's go back to as you can see guys now we have controlled this okay i'm happy with this okay let's just change uh, the title okay let's just type here coded design okay and let's also change the description here let's type thank you for subscribing okay i mean this in a true sense of the word thank you for subscribing okay so now let's go back and check first um, let me save go back and check as you can see guys thank you for subscribing i'm happy with this and then what if maybe we want to add um, let's say one more okay let's see so the accordion has got um it's like a compound components okay meaning that we've got the um the parent and we've got the children and we've got some other children nice design okay so what we want to do let's look at the children okay at the components okay at the inner components let's say we've got an accordion item okay this is an accordion item so this is how um shed cn has been designed okay it has got some meaningful components so as you can see here okay we can just copy this whole item okay and paste it here because it's an item we don't want something that is inside a trigger or something we want the whole item okay so you can um give some values to your item as you can see here this is item one let's just say this is item two okay so i've got another ui channel where i teach figma which is coded ui okay like this if you might want to learn figma then you can um, visit that channel so let's just type here learn figma from matthew okay and then let's click save let's go back here as you can see guys okay this is what we have exactly um what we want to do and that's about this for this um tutorial if you might want to contact me if you might want me to teach you specifically something that you might want to know you can click here on the discover call give me your name and your email i will come back to you you have a one hour free one-on-one -on -one with me i teach you exactly what you want to know if you might be interested you can join my um 10 hour coaching course where i teach you exactly what you want to know don't forget to check my buy me a coffee just for support and that is it see you on the next one